When's our next class? Well, January 6th. Sixth. Yeah. Testing, testing. So I put together a few uh, uh, different winter themed words there and for the holidays and that. So uh, go through the list with you and then uh, we could do some review of the stuff that we've been working on. So, sure. All right. So we'll just jump into the first one. Referring to the season, uh, again, this is a, a VII verb, like it's inanimate and it's intransitive, it's like just, it is winter. Uh, when you say babon, you're saying like, it is winter kind of thing. Yeah. So it's a, v a VII? Right. Uh, yeah, so... It's not. It's not quite like a just a not just like a noun like it would be in English when you say winter. It's kind of got a bit of that verb of it is winter kind of idea there. So if you say babon, 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 babon. Uh, one of the things that uh, in Ojibwe when they count by years, they count by winters. So when they say babon there. You could also be referring to a year, kind of, as well there. So, so if someone's, uh, uh, say, if you're five years old and on in the bone it is. So, you know, Ojibwe count their years and went by winters there. So, uh, we'll probably get into some of that later on there, how to uh, mention years and stuff like that. The bone winter. Up and lose. This one from last week is Ogipan. Ogipan. Ogipan and that. Yeah. 
That's referring to ice. So Mekwam Yika, uh, see it has Mekwam in there for like ice, and then we have the Mekwam Yika, it's referring to like a lot of it, so it's, and it's basically saying it's icy. Uh, so. Another example of when you saw. really thundering there and it means that there's a lot of thunder and lightning there and uh, so the kind of the idea is like there's a lot of thunderbirds in the sky creating the big storm kind of thing so well, the kwami ka means like there's a lot of ice well there's certain words that you could add the ka and it means like there's a lot of it uh, that's the name i'm popping into my head right now there we could practice more of those later there for words that we could use that in. The and then same thing, just different, different word for it. It's a thunder, it's another name for a thunderbird there. Some will use one or the other, some places will use both together, like in the Mickey Benesi, or some will just say Benesi, or some will just say in the Mickey. Well, Benesi Ka is referring to the same thing, like a thunderstorm, and lots of thunderbirds. So that's what's going on with Kobe Ka. Referring to a lot of ice. Uh, you could probably say like Gonica, like it's a lot of snow. It's kind of like a taste. Yeah, it, it have a yeah, it'd be similar, but it it uh, the Gitche often has that idea like something really great or really big, kind of like. Uh, like something almost marvelous or like just great kind of thing, whereas Ka, you have the Ka there, just like uh, it gives an idea of like a lot of it. Kind of thing, so, what are some of the different uh, nuances there? I think we've been going through a few different wobble words there, so what uh, uh, how would you describe that there? Or a liquid, yeah. We're just referring to ice water. This
so these are some of the other wavo words or avo words. So Makumi wavo, ice water, Uyasavo, Uyasavo, feet, so broth. As you can see, I further down the list, some also use it for gravy. So Uyasavo, so it's referring to some sort of beef. Beaten liquid kind of thing, so broth and gravy. Dodo shavo. Great. So dodo, referring to the breast and the liquid of the breast, it's just elk, so dodo shavo. Maybe shavo. Maybe shavo. See, remember how it breaks down? Maybe. Great, so an EB is a leaf, and then tea is made of ground up leaves, so it's like a leaf liquid, an EB shavo. Bakade mashkiki wavo. One of the words for, for what is it then? Great. Remember all the, what the words are in there? Bakade mashkiki. Bakade, black. Great. Referring to the liquid there. What could they must keep you wobble? Maybe just ask me how to say it last week. I know how to say it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What could they must keep you one of the words they use for like hard liquor there is they wobble. Just to give another example of wobble being used there. What's the right? It's just uh it's just dialect, some add that extra A in the front, some will just say knee beach, some will say a knee beach. Yeah. Just one of those kind of things. Like somebody just put like shko de wabo, and we'll put it more ishko de wabo. Yeah. yeah. It's just one of those kind of things. Yeah. Well, it's just another, it's just another word that we're able to add wabo to. Mikomi wabo, mikomi wabo, ice wabo. My friend told him one of the elders he goes to there when the uh, after the winter and uh, when the water on the lake start melting, got to get a cup of it and ice water, makomi wawo. So, Ogipan, is it snowing? Mahajipan, it starts to snow, and Bonipan, it stops snowing. Uh, that's the root. That's the root for snowing there. So, uh, we could use all kinds of uh, different root words in front of pun, and they're referring to different kinds of snow there. Like, So maji, when you use maji, that's the root for like uh, starting to. Like if I were to say maji b saw it's starting to rain, b saw is the root of. Uh, I think we went into it briefly in one class when, uh, where, where a learner might think that you'd say uh, gisena, give me one for cold rain, but 
you take the roots for cold and rain and it becomes dakibi saw for cold rain. So these saw is the root for rain and the pun is the a root for snow. So maji bi saw would be starting this the rain, maji pun that's starting the snow. So uh, just something to keep uh, uh, just to be aware of that we'll eventually look a little more at some of these kind of things there to keep an eye on what's going on with those kind of things there. That's all it's Maji is the root for starting Okay, so we have a few different words for this. So this is one way to say it. Uh, uh, Niba is referring to like nighttime there. Niba, mm -hmm. and Lama is it praying, and then you got the day. So I, I'm thinking it's referring to like midnight mass kind of idea, Christmas day, and, uh, nighttime prayers thing, kind of idea. So I'm, I'm assuming that it's uh, referring to midnight mass there. So, so that's one. That's one interpretation that. Uh, and put together to say right. Well, this is another one. We've been using Gitche every now and then. Oh, go ahead. Oh, Gijigad is the word for day, like it's referring to the day. Day of. Yeah. I think, yeah. Like if I were to say, I'm in all I'm wishing you like a good day kind of thing. Yeah, it's just referring to the daytime kind of thing. Referring to like big or great, I think here it's more like that kind of idea of like great, uh, like a great prayer day, or Christmas. That's the way that this one is describing it as like a great prayer day kind of thing, or a big prayer day. One more that I found. Together a few words for Christmas meal. Is this the On this turkey, that's when you're referring to when the turkey's on the plate. The turkey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, oh, the other one? Uh, it's, it's not. It's not. Uh, I just. Uh, I, I only said it was dead. Like there's nothing to say that it's dead. Okay. Like uh, I just said it to make it clear, like that you know it's dead and it's meat kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, it's just a we ask. It's meat by that point. Uh, he's definitely not running around. And, we are. Yeah. You are. Oops. No. I, sorry about that. Just say we are. Don't want it to be an easy. <laughs> we get one like this one's uh code. use that code for animate use that code for inanimate and then if you're trying to conjugate it you have to use the right kind of verb like if you're if you're just gonna say Mrs. Say, then you have to use the, the verb for eating something out of it. And if you Mrs. Say, we ask you have to use the verb for inanimate. So one would be a VK, the other would be a VPI. So you have to use the I eat it one, and this one would be I eat it one. Here, one kind of so, uh, mm -hmm. Then you gin, Mrs. Say, we ask, uh, I'm eating mm -hmm. turkey. And if you're say, in the mois, I'm eating turkey. They'd have different. You could say either one there, but one. I just love this one's a little more specific to. But you'd be understood that you're eating turkey either way. Just mostly. Uh, what's that? Oh, have you seen it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He says, I Uh, it's referring to a pig. I don't know if I, I don't know if we went into it much there. I've uh, heard some teachers say it comes from French. There. Mm -hmm. so, and then it kind of cocoche, co co <coughs> That's where I heard that it comes from. There, it's one of the. Uh, yeah, it's one of. The, these are the same things here. Gokosh we us or gokosh we us. Uh, one's just adding, this one's just adding like some uh, connector vowels kind of thing in between the, uh, some like adding a little sound in between to connect words more, whereas some will just put them together, go kosh we us, whereas the, some speakers will go kosh we like us, they'll connect it with something in between. That's the same thing there, uh, it just depends on what more formal or? Uh, not quite. It just depends on uh, dialect and speaker whether they'd uh, add that little extra in between kind of thing there. Well, it's just something that you pay attention to if, uh, if someone's speaking there. Whether if you hear them say "go coach we we ask," or if they just say "go coach we ask." That's the main difference with that there. So it's just again referring to the animal "go coach." Of course, we ask pork or ham, pig meat.
Sometimes you'll see it with the nose, sometimes you'll see it without. Uh, usually in the east they drop that little short vowel, in the west they'll have it back on, or it's still there. Whichever way. A pin, a pin, referring to a potato. Uh, potato, yeah, a pin, a pin or pin. Uh, in dialect difference. Uh, uh, it's one of the vegetables that's considered an animate thing there, so it gets. Uh, it's conjugated as a, I guess the G sound at the end instead of an N. Open, instead of open E, it'd be open E. Open e. So if you're saying I'm eating potatoes, you'd have to say, uh, if you're eating one, open in the moi, I'm eating a potato. Open E in the moi, I'm eating potatoes. One of the things that uh, you know, some, some fruits and veggies are conjugated as inanimate and some are conjugated as animate kind of thing. So just depending on how the ending is there, you use the one verb, so you'd use uh, That's kind of the command form of it, so I them or eat her and walk. Yeah. So that we come there and then that whole kind of turns into the W and then and then the moi, I'm eating him, I'm eating her. But it's referring to since the potato is considered like him or her and then the moi. I'll then eat, I'll make them just pluralize. Eating in the walk, open it in the walk. You take the G off, open in the walk. Well, these are VTAs. We've been slowly looking into them more here with the, we haven't formally gotten into them yet. So, this again is just kind of like a heads up thing. In the walk? In the walk. If you're eating multiple ones there, so. More than one. Yeah. Eating something like, uh, and one of the we asks is uh, it's like turkey. Since it's meant to say we us, and it's we us now and it's made, they use the other. Jin, I'm eating. As I said, we also meet Jin. I'm eating turkey. Hey, hi. 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 Oh, the alarm, eh? I'm not familiar with it. Uh, really? The. Oh, um, we're both yeah, the know. workers here. Okay, there's an alarm. The only reason I wrote because I had uh, here working. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nobody's working with the alarm. No, I think it happened in class. There's some alarm coming from Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. Oh no! Thank you very oh, much. Just for, yeah, no, I yeah. I better ask. Okay. Yeah. yeah thank you for. Okay. Yeah. Appreciate it. Uh, so, as I said, we asked the meeting. I'm eating. So, use that one when you're referring to eating something inanimate. There. So, potatoes. You'd use this one. And then inanimate things. You'd use this one. I haven't gotten into this one too much there because that's the one I was mentioning last week. It'd be tricky there. Like, if you add something or, or conjugate it wrong, it becomes a. Uh, how do they. In dictionary talk, they say defecating on someone. <laughs> I've made the mistake in the past. So. But as the me, Jen, I'm eating it then. So don't worry about that one. Written like that. Oh, 
get further. We'll get more into that. We'll probably maybe we'll have a a class dedicated to eating one night, and we'll have all the terms of how to how to talk about eating. So we saw this one earlier. Uh, again, there are more examples of uh, using oval equation gun, oval equation guns referring to bread or flour, that kind of thing. So uh, a lot of gravy has a lot of flour in it to thicken it. So equation gun, oval. Uh, a lot of gravy is also meat based there from the broth from either beef or turkey or chicken gravy. So it's uh, some will describe it based more on the meat rather than the flour, so we are sabo. Um, some will use it more specifically for broth, so again, it just depends on speaker preference to how they want to describe it. Uh, Abo is always referring to it being like a liquid of some sort there. So, okay. so it's like a bread liquid or flour liquid. Uh, just referring to something in its liquid form kind of thing. eyes on there. I don't know if that's a typo or if I saw it like written like that. I'd have to double check. But uh, one term that they use for New Year's that I saw is abita babon. And the, the word abita is referring to like half. So it's almost like halfway through winter kind of thing. And that's why it says midwinter as well on it. Well, some understand it as like halfway through winter is kind of New Year. Abita babon. Uh, well, when you're familiar with the bone, Abita, you could uh, use it in a number of means. Abita, the big, is referring to midnight, like halfway in the night there. So that's the word they use for midnight, Abita, the big. Abita, the bone. Midwinter, midnight. Or sometimes if you're counting change there, you could have uh, use abita for half of something there. Uh, that's the word for half kind of an abita. came across this one as well, the uh, first time I've heard of it, the uh, Oshke, Oshke, a one. Oshke is the word for something new, and then a ke is like earth, and so uh, Oshke, a key one, uh, this is referring to like, a, it's like a new earth, but uh, also understanding it as like a new year kind of thing, so 
Well, some you might some use this term, which would be a key one. Again, a shke, you could use it in a lot of different ways there, like a uh, was a big enough, a new pen, new pencil. A a puppy win, a new chair. A shke, a dope win, a new table. A uh, I think we went through it at one time when you are saying you could put in front of a, a person that makes them young, like understanding them as young as well. A key one. I'm familiar with the K as well from uh, remember how to say the United States there. Uh, Pokemon. Mm -hmm. What's the part? Akiwan. Land of the big knife, so that's what it's the same a K in there as it yeah. is in Kichimokamon a This is another one I saw on Jean the way he is again. It says uh, kissing one another day there on the New Year's. So, it's a celebration day? Yeah. I wonder if some use it for Valentine's as well. Says is greeting one another. So these are all different words that I came across through the years. Different way different people say it. There. So I could show one more new thing, or we could review. Uh, yeah, okay. Right. Yeah, I don't have it written down yet, but I'll, I'll write it already down soon. Like, on the new year there. So, but I'll show you. Some of these will be good to know for you. You recognize that one? Do you see one? Oh, what's. Recognize the differences between the user.
So the first one up here is he or she is eating. He's eating, she is eating. And the third person is eating. And then it's the we sin in, we sin, the we sin, I'm eating, the we sin, I'm eating, uh, we sin in. Yeah, tell them that's command form, telling you to we sin in, eat, the we sin, you're eating, right? So, you know, there's something else that you're, what kind of verb, you recognize what kind of verb this one is there? Right, so it's a VAI verb. So one of the things that you could do with these kind of verbs here, another feature. This one's good for dinner time as well. You could add that at the end of We send it da. I just got a chance to write one of them. Like, listen, eating the man. First one in the book. Oh, here she is eating. We send it. We sin, I'm eating, we sin in. Oh, so, uh, here? No. So, oh, wait. so when you add the da, it makes it like, let's eat. Okay. So when, when it's dinner time, we sin da, like you're inviting everyone. Or, or it's another form of command, but like, let's eat kind of thing yeah. there. So. Mm -hmm. We sin and da. So let, let's verb. Jump. He's jumping in the same way. Watch when it. Right, so here she's jumping. Watch when in. I'm telling you to jump. Watch when it does. Yeah, let's jump in. Watch when it does. Uh, I hope you understand it as like going to the bar as well there, like when they quit the that's some understand it. it could be referring to drinking anything as well. All depends on how the speaker using it, what kind of connotation they They probably could use it like Uh, Mama de Bin was telling you to sit. Mama de Bin. Here she's sitting there. Mama de Bin. Yeah. Yeah. So most of these you could use at the dinner table. I don't know if you want to use that one. Jump. So you can be more specific. You can say, "Mini kuda mishko de wabu." Yeah, you probably could add, yeah, I'm pretty sure you could add the... Uh, <laughs> 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 Let's drink some fire water. I'll get you in and fall down. Commanding you to fall 
Dankeschön. So whenever you see like a, a VAI code on a verb there, you could add that dot to it there. To Is like a little bit of something. It's small there. Uh, I'll be a little bit. Oh my gosh, size. Uh, it's small. Pretty common beginner phrases. Bungi ete go ni neta nishna be. We only speak a little bit of Ojibwe. Bungi. Bungi she. Bungi. Yeah. When you put these bungi ete go, that's only like only a little bit. Like bungi is a little. Bungi ete go only a little bit. Yeah, for me. Yeah. When you see the ta, it's like a, it's a pre-verb for doing something well or being good at something kind of thing. I only speak a little bit of uh, Anishinaabe, or I only speak a little bit of Anishinaabe. Yeah. But then you have the M, it's like, uh, is the verb of speaking the language there? Oh, okay. So it's a VAI form of the language there. You speak in Anishinaabe. Uh, if you're usually if you're asking if someone's fluent there, in a town Anishinaabe, you speak Ojibwe or do you speak the Anishinaabe language well or do you speak? Uh, are you fluent? Kind of idea. In a town Ojibwe, in a town Ojibwe, are you fluent in Ojibwe or do you speak well in Ojibwe? Only a 
Blue Mole, he or she is speaking. He or she is speaking. Blue Mole. And Ojibwe. I'm speaking Ojibwe. And Ojibwe. You are speaking Ojibwe. Are you speaking Ojibwe? Oh yeah. Indo Jibwemna, am I speaking Ojibwe? Yido Jibwemna, are you speaking Ojibwe? So if you add that Nita in there, like, do you speak it well? Or Ogineta Ojibwemna, do you speak, are you fluent in Ojibwe or do you speak Ojibwe well? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so you, you wouldn't have to write the full game, you just put the bit. Okay. And then you put the na. Dinata, Vishna, Ben, na. Oh, that would be here. Dinata. Dinata. And if you're only, if you're just a learner that only knows a little bit, you know, that's why you don't know yet. To, yeah, that would be the response. If you only know a little bit, if you're a fluent speaker, then you could respond to that. Be more. He or she is speaking Ojibwe or Nishnabe. Let's speak in Nishnabe. Ojibwe. He or she is speaking Ojibwe. Way more that speak or you will. Mishna be moda, Magija or Jibwe moda. Say either one. That's what you could do with the da. You could add it to a lot of the VAIs that we've already been practicing there. That you want to do, or is there anything that uh, from previous classes that you want refreshers on, or, or anything that you want from today that you want more clarification on? I was just explaining that you could add dot to certain DAIs, so. Mm -hmm. He or she's speaking in a Shnabe Moen or Ojibwe Mo, he or she's speaking Ojibwe. Like the other VAIs, you can add the end. I'm telling you that Ojibwe Moen, speak Ojibwe, and a Shnabe Moen, speak in a Shnabe. We got the Da. Ojibwe 
comes Let's Speak uh, Anishinaabe one or Let's Speak Ojibwe. Uh, we did this one quick. We sent in here. She's eating. We sent in. Eat. We sent in. Uh, it comes Let's Eat. Just another little thing that you could add on the VAIs. The same way, I mean, uh, with uh, Mikwamika, would you be able to say the same thing with snow? I mean, uh, with uh, rain, it is icy. If there's a lot of ice, then you know. Well, like, give me one. I'm not sure if I've heard that one. There. Or would you just say big rain? Uh, you'd probably use like the thunderstorm, like an Imiki Ka there for. Uh, I guess if it's not lightning, I might just say, could you give me one there? No, because I don't know if you, I think you'd already understand that there's a lot of raindrops kind of yeah. thing there, so. Could you give me one, you understand that it's like, it's coming down pretty hard kind of thing there. Uh, there's lots of light. Hmm. I think it, it, it when I when I hear when I hear get you, yeah when I hear get you Quo, I picture more like a big chunk of ice yeah. rather yeah, whereas uh, Mikwamika, uh more of that idea of like there's a lot of ice or really icy kind of thing there, whereas the get you Mikwam would be uh, Mikwam uh, visualize like a, a big chunk of ice or something. Say do the shabo adds milk, right? Yeah. So if you're milking something, can you say do? Oh, the verb of that. I haven't heard that one yet. <laughs> probably, uh, like, it'd probably be like that, like, money do okay. You'd probably say, like, dodo shabo okay, like, uh, uh, it'd probably be like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. There, there probably would be a, a verb for maybe, I'd have to look it up, but it, it might be, like when you say gigon k, you're fishing, money do k, you're having ceremony, you might be able to say dodo shabo k, like you're, you're making milk or you're milking kind of thing there. <laughs> I'd have to double check there, though, but you might be able to say dodo shabo k there. Yeah. Then <laughs> on the on the day where you have the food discussion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 we used to have cows years ago. Many moons ago.
<laughs> many winters ago. Oh, yes, many winters. <laughs> Fresh milk. Oh, shit. 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 Oh, Maybe we could hear this one. Do you remember the difference between this and Madam? and Madwain Dun. Oh, that's McQueen, McQueen Don, McQueen Don. Oh, close. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah, pretty close. And then Ishquan Dam is door. Oh, Ishquan. So, remember the difference between a VI and a VTI? So, VI is just like a, like a self contained action. So, when I'm in Wayne Dumb, I'm happy. Not explaining what I'm happy about, or you just know that I'm happy. Which, as a VTI, is you're interacting with something. So, uh, it has a feeling of happy, but uh, it's kind of like uh, uh, I like it. So you're, you're interacting with something there, so, uh, so it's liking something inanimate there. A little bit weighing down. Uh, so we could do something like... Second, and we're going down now. Uh, we have a Christmas dinner. Yeah. 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 Do you, do you like turkey? Yeah. Uh, you could add different. You could add, respond with the yes. So give me the way down. Is this a yes? Do you like turkey? And the men down, yes, I like it. Hey, yeah, the men down, I like it. You could add it in there, but as say, we ask the men down, I like it. Like that. Yeah. 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 Do you like ham? Do you like pork? Do you like pig? Do 
Bet nu vien tā negūt kūšu vijās. Well, well, this is a VTI, so it has to be inter it has to be about stuff that are inanimate. If you were to just use Mizase or Gokosh, you'd have to use a different, you'd have to use the VTA there, so. Min Dham in this sense is more like, like. Right, so Min Wain Dham is to be happy, uh, and whereas Min Wain Dham, Min Wain Dham is like, like it, or, so it's, uh, yeah, it's not the same as the VAI there, so uh, they're like they're they're related in that they're referring to something like of being happy or liking something, but this one's interacting with something more. So, uh, so again, it's I could use this to show the difference between uh, uh, a VTI and a VTA there. So. And when you're done, that's a VTI. And that's where it's in command form, so I'm telling you to like it. Uh, if you wanted to talk about potatoes or turkey without adding the we you'd have to use the VTA, which is. I'm, I'm telling you to like him or like her. And when you Wayne Dunn, like it, and Wayne Dunn, like him, or like her. Well, delete, you know, we say. Do you like it? Uh, we asked, do you like turkey? Now, if you were to just say, Mizase, get when Mainamana. Get men Wainamana, Mizase, do you like turkey? Well, get men Wainamana, like you like him or you like her. Well, get men Wainamana, open it, open. Do you like potato? In a magna openik, do you like potatoes? So that's what the, again. So with the VTI, you're interacting with something inanimate, and then with the VTA, you're interacting with something or someone that's animate. There, so it's just knowing what the the noun that you're using, whether it's animate or inanimate. And so. If you don't know that a potato is conjugated as animate, you might accidentally use the... And again, some dialects might uh, open in instead of open eek and use... Open in, do you like potatoes? Uh, I've seen quite a few that use it as open eek, like, uh, conjugating it like it's animate, so open in, open eek, do you like potatoes? But if it's open in, you probably remember, open in, open in, Asking a question for you can use that animate or uh, This one's inanimate. Then. inanimate. So, like the I for inanimate yeah, and the A's yeah. for animate. And the T is referring to something transitive, which just means that's uh, kind of like an action happening there or you're interacting with. That's pretty much what the T means there. Like kind of interacting with well, it just basically means a verb interacting with something animate or a verb interacting with something inanimate things. that's pretty much it. it it takes time getting the it took me a while to get used to them too there but uh, that's kind of uh, what's going on there so
Okay. Again, with Tim and Wayne done, uh, we go through the list that we have. So just miss it say on its own, Tim and Wayne and Mana, so that's for plural. Tim and Wayne and Mana, say, do you like turkey? If you were to say, miss it say, we ask. Tim and Wayne and Mana, miss it say, we ask. We have ham. Tim and Wayne and go kosher, we ask. You're just talking if you all want to say we as him and Wayne Amana go coach, you like know, take yeah, you like take open him and Wayne Amana open, you like potato him and Wayne Dana, the Quasia Ganavo, you like gravy. And again, then uh. Him and, him and Wayne Dana, oh, a puppy wind, do you like this chair? Uh, him and Wayne Dana, oh, a Zinaigan, do you like this book? And then, like, and then this one, you could add people's names in there, like, Him and Wayne Omana, Tina, do you like, do you like Tina? Him and Wayne Omana, yeah. Him and Wayne Omana, yeah. <laughs> so, so again, different ways that, like, uh, Different ways that you could use it, kind of. You know, so. Use it with food. Uh, again, it's just knowing the noun, whether it's animate or inanimate. We'll get more uh, in the new year, we'll get into this one more formally there, so I'll start knowing how to uh, use it more there. so. But again, just kind of showing the relationship between the different verb types there, and uh, how to use, how to know which ones to use in that. The more you use them, you start, you start, to, you start becoming able to recognize uh, which ones are referring to what types there, and then uh, you can start recognizing them when they're conjugated there. Uh, that's what's going on. With Often when you look in the dictionaries, they'll be written under the command form, so uh, if you say, like someone, you might find them in weighing them. Uh, but in order to say, like, uh, uh, I like you, given Wayne a min, I like him or her, given Wayne a ma, uh, you like me, given Wayne them. So you have to learn how to conjugate it there, whereas Wayne done. Like it, and you have to learn how to conjugate them in way and don. I like it, give it way and don. You like it, come in way and don. You know, she likes it. I guess it, the VT is all head starts, uh, head starts for what we're going to be getting into. Any other ones you want to go into before the for for the New Year's or that or before a break? We said, I know, but where you going to suck? We said, I know. What did you call it? But where you going to suck? That's like a small. Like, but where you going to suck? This could be a cookie. I don't imagine you could use it for like a cupcake too. But where you going to suck? And since there's multiple ones, but where you going to suck? I yeah, often it has something to do with flour there. 
again, it has that, that uh, they say, uh, and they call it diminutive. When you make something like a small one, like a Pequasia Gun's bread, Pequasia Goss is it smaller, so Pequasia Goss cookie or cupcake. Or it might be, you could probably say small cake, but I can never ever cake because it's a lot. We're describing all kinds of things. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> everyone for tuning in there. See you in the new year.